Hello there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins with File Magic Cutlery. Uh, here today to do a review on one of my personal grail knives. Anybody that's uh, been watching the custom knife world for a while is very familiar with this maker. Uh, this is a Brian Tie tiebreaker. Um, I had the opportunity to meet uh, Brian Ty and his wife at the Southern California uh, Custom Knife Show back in October of 2014 where I was lucky enough to pick one of these up. Um, was very happy that uh, I got there early. Uh, for anybody that knows about Brian and his situation, uh, last year he had a flood in his shop which pretty much trashed all of his equipment. He has been uh, working uh, with some other custom makers and their shops to uh, continue to produce some stuff. Um, he did say that about March or April of this year he should be back up and running, which will be a good thing for all of us because he'll have more product uh, back out there for sale. Um, overall, he was just a great guy. Incredibly nice. Uh, willing to sit there and talk, answer questions, take pictures with people. Uh, couldn't ask for a nicer, nicer gentleman. Um, him and his wife were both very nice, uh, willing to talk and that type of thing. I showed up at the very beginning of the show uh, because I did know that he was going to have limited quantities of knives there. Uh, made it to his table within the first couple minutes of opening. I grabbed this one. Uh, pretty much everything on his table was gone within the first five minutes. So this is one I've had my eye on for quite a while. Uh, beautiful, beautiful knife. Uh, you cannot ask for better as far as uh, quality, craftsmanship, and just overall feel of this one is phenomenal. I'm going to go ahead and hit the specs real quick. Uh, overall length on this one is 9 inches. Uh, the blade length is 4 inches. And it is a RWL34 uh, steel that has just a beautiful compound grind on it. Uh, I have never seen a more mirror polished edge. Uh, that Those grinds are beautifully mirror polished. The upper swedge is polished perfectly. Then you have that nice satin on the flat with his uh, logo in there. Um, the edge of this thing is incredibly sharp. It is beautiful. Um, this is my first experience with a button lock. He went away from the frame locks a while ago. They used to have tie breakers that had the frame lock. Um, this button lock is great. As you can see, the proprietary bearing system he has on it allows that sucker to just close up just by hitting, hitting the lock. Um, it is a beautifully smooth knife. The action on it is fantastic. That thing flips out beautifully. I don't know the mechanics on the detent with a button lock. Um, it's definitely going to be different than the mechanics for the frame lock. Um, but whatever he's done to make this thing go is just perfectly machined because it doesn't take too much and it just flies out. You never have a problem with it opening part way. Uh, it opens with command. I mean, it's it's a nice size blade. Fits beautifully in the hand. Um, there is no jimping on the back of the blade or the handle. But with as elegant as this knife is, I think jimping just wouldn't fit in right. Um, the fluting on this is just amazing. It feels so nice in the hand. You can see how thick those titanium scales were before the fluting was done. He did do some heat uh, anodizing on the handles which definitely gave it a little bit of extra snap. Um, as you can see this one has 
the Microtech style uh, hardware on it. So you can take a guess as to what person's shop he was working out of when he put this one together. Um, when I did get it, uh, it did have a little bit of a problem with the, the button lock. Um, it was a little loose, um, but I took it right back to Brian at the show and he was great. He said, oh, absolutely, I'll take it. Took it back to Canada, which is where he resides. Uh, he said he was going to work in his son's shop. Uh, his son makes some beautiful pens and that type of thing. He got it back to me within like a week and a half. So as far as him getting it back, sending it back to me incredibly fast, he stands behind his work. Uh, I wouldn't have expected the lock to be a little off, but again, he's working out of a shop that isn't his own uh, for the time being. Um, overall, fit and finish on this thing, now that I've gotten it back, is just extraordinary. Rides beautifully in the pocket. Uh, that pocket clip is definitely a deep carry. And, of course, as anybody that's seen my reviews knows, I am a big fan of the lanyard to pull them out. Does this lanyard do this knife justice? Probably not. I'll have to uh, work on upgrading uh, the lanyard quality on this one. He does offer uh, Dama steel on some of these blades that are just beautiful. I would love to get my hands on one with one of the Dama steel blades. Um, and hopefully I can save my money and make that a reality. But uh, overall this knife is just beautiful. I would definitely call this a uh, more elegant of the tactical type style. Um, I love the pivots on that. He's got some decorative pivots. Both sides look really nice. Um, the action using the thumb stud is just as smooth as the flipper. It opens beautifully both ways. He does have that proprietary uh, bearing system in the pivot and it is just incredibly smooth. I've got a number of different flippers. Flippers are my preferred style of knife, um, but this one opens as smooth as butter. It's definitely the nicest action on anything that I own. I uh, do like the flippers a lot. Um, <clears throat> this one has earned a very nice spot in my collection. Definitely the jewel of the collection at this point. Uh, as far as the pocket clip goes, it is a right hand tip up carry. I am a very big fan of the tip up carry. It is the way I prefer to uh, carry my knives. Overall weight on this one is pretty darn light. You're looking at four and three eighth ounces. It's got a lot of titanium to it, but at the same time where it's been flo fluted out, it uh, is nice and lightweight. It kind of disappears in the pocket. Um, that pocket clip is not even noticeable in your hand. With all that fluting, as far as how it feels in the hand, you don't even notice it being there. It is overall a very beautiful knife. I like the top edge. Or at the top of the blade, the spine of the blade looks really nice. Um, overall, there isn't anything that I would even mention as a con on this knife. Uh, once he got it back to me and made those adjustments, I have been nothing but happy with the overall quality of this one. This one doesn't see a whole lot of carry by me. It is my a uh, special carry knife, um, only on special occasions type of thing. But uh, if you are in the market for a custom flipper and you're looking for something with a little more class than the big and clunkies, I would highly recommend this one. Beautiful quality, beautiful overall look, and fantastic people to deal with. Well, that'll be the end of this review. Uh, please tune in for more coming reviews, and I will see you on the next one.